Hello, I'm Marianne George with the College of Literature, Science, and the Arts. We are talking to Phil Denieri, a lecturer in the Program in the Environment and the Urban Planning Program, about the Detroit water system crisis. He is an expert on the history of this regional conflict. The Detroit Water Department, serving more than 4 million people in southeastern Michigan, has a $200 million deficit and an aging, overwhelmed infrastructure. The battle over the system has been going on for decades. What are the roots and the history of this conflict? The suburbs have been fighting with the city of Detroit about uh, water service to the suburbs really from the day that Coleman Young was elected the first African-American mayor of Detroit in 1973. There was and is long-standing uh, political conflict based on racial lines, class lines, virtually every line that you can think of. And amidst that overall arena of conflict, uh, the fact that the suburbs have had to purchase their water from the city of Detroit has always been a problem for them. Why does Detroit want to retain control of the system with the economic problems that the city faces? Well, there are two reasons, really. First of all, the city of Detroit uh, built the system over decades, and they have a legitimate right to what they have built and owned, and they are concerned that if a regional oversight board were created, that would effectively be taking the system from them. Now, the city of Detroit, as is well known, does not have much in the way of assets compared to communities elsewhere in the region and even compared to other cities around the country. This is one of their greatest assets. So the fear that that could simply be taken away from them through the appointment of a regional oversight board is considerable. The second reason that they're fearful is that anytime you have a complex, large piece of infrastructure like a water system serving an entire metropolitan region, there's going to be controversies over who is better served and who is worst served. And uh, there is a great deal of suspicion among Detroit voters and Detroit's political leadership that a system controlled by the suburbs would serve the suburbs well and serve the city poorly. How do the recent federal corruption charges against former Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick and former Water Department Director Victor Mercado affect this situation? On the one hand, they provide more fodder and more justification for these folks who are uh, seeking regionalization. On the other hand, those folks and that element of the metropolitan political community has been arguing for regionalization no matter what the circumstances are. Anytime there's a big public bureaucracy overseeing a big public piece of infrastructure, uh, there's going to be the risk of corruption. And that happens in Detroit, it happens in the suburbs, it happens all over the country. So while these are important developments in the case, they don't necessarily speak directly to whether the city should control the system and contract with suburbs for service or whether some new regional board should be appointed. Are the challenges faced by Detroit's metro water system unique or are they common across the country? They are very common across the country. So on one level, it is controversial uh, and difficult to build and maintain and raise the revenue to run a system like this. People are not happy about having to pay the costs of replacing aging infrastructure. The additional political challenge of the city being at war with the suburbs and countless politicians getting themselves reelected by picking fights with the other side, that too happens all over the country. And Detroit is certainly a leader in the country at having these kind of fights, but it, it's by no means unique to Detroit. What are the solutions for maintaining this system and easing regional conflicts? We're starting to see a new generation of political leadership in the greater Detroit region. And for as many suburban political leaders as are today calling for regionalization of the water system, there are very many who are saying, Mayor Bing is competent, let's let him work this out. At some point, Metro Detroit uh, is going to have to mature into working together as a single overall region. And we may or may not have reached that critical point yet, but I think we're getting close.